Hi guys, and welcome to another episode of us fishing. Hauling the pasta and hopefully I'll get some langoustines today. It's been uh, one week since I hauled them last time. And uh, fingers crossed, it feels heavy, but it might just be the wind. It's uh, making everything a bit harder. It's a nice card, uh, but that is also everything that's in here. But I think I'll keep this one. That last one was so thin, but this card right here, uh, it's in great condition. Oh, it has one of its eyes. Ah, oh, I forget to. You can see that it's lost one of his eyes, but uh, it doesn't seem to bother him too much. Looks like a decent fish to me. That is dinner. It's about a kilo, I guess. Uh, and it'll do. It's uh, way beyond minimum landing size. So I'm going to keep it. Okay, but uh, off to the next one. Whoa. This was a very heavy haul. I'm hoping the pot is just full of fish and uh, Oh, langoustines and everything here. There's a bit of everything actually. Huh. One, two. Only two langoustines, but uh, yeah, that card is a bit small, I think. Oh, man. It is uh, a bit smaller than the last one. So this one gets its freedom back. See? Yeah, that is perfectly fine. I think, yeah. And then a langoustine with the uh, eggs. Well, I'm gonna keep that. It's a fairly decent size, so uh, that's dinner. And this one is dead. That's too bad. What happened here? I thought we had to but, uh, huh, that's a bit strange. Completely empty. Touche. Look at that. It's a bit strange, but, uh, nothing I can do about that. Looks like it's this thing.
Ah, it looks like it got itself tangled. Tangled in the net. And so with nowhere to run, the uh, scavengers down below, the scavenger eels and uh, the sort of gets a hold of them. So it was all the way like too bad for both of us. So this is me holding the pots. Ah, these again. Forget about them sunglasses all the time. But uh, in this sort of wind, when there's uh, wind and uh, the current pulling me away, it is, uh, it's too heavy. <laughs> so the alternative is not holding them at all. And so I use a, a bit of fuel, but it's worth it. When the rope starts to uh, come up towards the surface, I let the wind uh, push me towards the pot. It makes it all very easy to hold. Should be about it. I can see a lang. Two, three, oh, there's a, some big ones in here. Those are some giants. Proper giants. Oh man, I got lucky with this one. Look at that. It's alive, but uh, it's fairly dozy, I think. Yep. One. Haha, -ha. that's more like it. Those are some really nice langoustine. These crayfish are, uh, you know, they are close to lobster size and here's the biggest one
That is a giant. He's got a hold of himself here. But yeah, look at that. That is, uh, I guess, as big as a lobster uh, uh, keeper. Maybe just below. But uh, <laughs> that is uh, that is a giant crayfish. Then a smaller one at the end, a lively one. And this is a uh, normal size, sort of. This is considered to be a fairly big or medium to big uh, langoustine. If you buy them uh, in the store at the local fishmonger, this will be considered big, I guess. No, just below if, if that's the case. But uh, nothing compared to this. I think I need to measure this one. From the tip of the horn, that is 24, 24 centimeters from here to there. And uh, so, uh, yeah. That's a real good snack for this afternoon. Nice one, finally. Okay. Well, thanks for watching everyone. These videos are getting a bit, uh, you know, same thing over and over. I'll try to mix it up a bit, but uh, it's a time. <laughs> it all takes a lot of time, spending a whole day out uh, fishing, uh, I wouldn't complain, but uh, there's other stuff that has to be done as well. So uh, I'll try and, uh, and uh, do something more than just hauling these langoustine spots uh, day after day. But thanks for watching, I really appreciate it. Uh, if you haven't yet, click the like and subscribe button. I'd, I would really like to see uh, some more subscribers before uh, the start of next uh, lobster season but uh till next time have a nice one <laughs>